In this session, we will dive deeper into the introduction to technology for teaching and learning, an essential area that modern educators must embrace to enhance their teaching methodologies and improve student outcomes. As technology increasingly becomes an integral part of every aspect of life, its role in education is undeniable. It is essential to recognize how it can be used to facilitate teaching, learning, and even administration, driving efficiency and enhancing the learning experience for students. To fully engage with this concept, our objectives today are to introduce the fundamental ideas surrounding technology in teaching and learning, identify the critical ICT competency standards necessary for pre-service teacher education, and familiarize ourselves with the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, PPSD, ICT standards. These are all crucial components to preparing educators who can effectively incorporate technology into their teaching strategies. To fully understand the components of technology for teaching and learning, it is essential to delve deeper into the various elements that define and support effective educational practices. The following explanations expand on the key concepts of technology, ICT, information and communication technology, technology tools, educational technology, instructional technology, instructional system slash design, and educational media, each contributing uniquely to teaching and learning environments. Technology. In its broadest sense, technology refers to the application of scientific knowledge to solve practical problems. It is not a mere product, but a systematic process aimed at achieving specific outcomes. The term was defined by Dale in 1969 as a planned, systematic method of working to achieve planned outcomes. This definition highlights that technology involves a structured approach to utilizing various tools, machines, and systems to enhance efficiency and productivity. In the context of teaching and learning, technology refers to all the methods, systems, and tools that educators can employ to facilitate better learning experiences and outcomes. ICT, Information and Communication Technology ICT encompasses any technology that enables the process of storing, retrieving, manipulating, transmitting, or receiving information electronically in a digital form. The significance of ICT in education lies in its capacity to store vast amounts of data, facilitate communication, and access resources beyond the classroom. Key examples of ICT tools include personal computers, mobile devices, digital projectors, the internet, emails, and social media platforms. By using ICT, teachers and students can break the barriers of traditional education by making learning more interactive, accessible, and flexible. It provides a wide array of educational resources and platforms, allowing for personalized learning, online collaboration, and the integration of multimedia content. Technology Tools Technology tools refer to software or applications that assist in the development and delivery of online or digital content. These tools include various learning management systems, LMS, content management systems, educational apps, and platforms like blogs, wikis, video editing software, and virtual classroom tools. Technology tools enhance the teaching process by offering features that support course content creation, management, assessment, and feedback. They enable teachers to deliver more engaging and interactive lessons and allow students to have a more personalized and flexible learning experience. Additionally, these tools can foster collaboration and communication among students and between students and teachers, regardless of location. Educational Technology Educational Technology, as defined by the Association for Educational Communications and Technology, is a complex, integrated process that involves people, procedures, ideas, devices, and organizations to solve learning problems and enhance the educational experience. The main goal of educational technology is to improve teaching and learning by integrating technological tools, media, and resources into the educational system. According to Rob Lyer, 2003, it involves a combination of processes and tools designed to address educational needs and challenges. This can include hardware, like computers or tablets, software, such as educational apps, and digital content videos, online resources. Educational technology is essential because it makes learning more accessible, engaging, and relevant to the digital age. 
Meeting the diverse needs of modern learners. Instructional technology. Instructional technology specifically refers to the aspects of educational technology that focus on the actual teaching process. It is the systematic use of technology to design, implement, and evaluate learning activities and content that achieve specific learning objectives. Instructional technology is not limited to just delivering content. It also involves designing the environment in which learning takes place, including the development of appropriate strategies, materials, and assessments. The aim of instructional technology is to maximize the effectiveness of teaching by considering the needs of learners and ensuring that the instructional tools and methods used are aligned with learning goals. Lucido, 1997, defines it as the process of systematically designing, carrying out, and evaluating instructional activities to meet educational objectives. Instructional System Slash Design The Instructional System Slash Design, ISD, process refers to the systematic development of instructional materials and strategies using learning theories and principles to ensure the quality of instruction. This involves analyzing learning needs and goals, developing appropriate instructional content, and evaluating the effectiveness of the instruction to meet those goals. The design process often starts with identifying learning objectives, followed by creating the instructional strategy and selecting tools and resources. The ISD process ensures that teaching is not arbitrary but follows a clear, structured approach that aligns with both learners' needs and institutional goals. Instructional design helps in structuring lessons that lead to measurable learning outcomes and fosters more effective teaching practices. Educational media. Educational media refers to the tools and channels of communication used to deliver instructional content. It includes the physical and digital mediums through which information is shared in a learning context. Educational media can involve visual media, audio media, audiovisual media, multimedia, and even augmented realit, AR, and virtual reality VR in advanced settings. The classification of media used in educational contexts can be categorized into five distinct types. 1. Visual media. This type of media includes materials that rely on images, diagrams, charts, graphs, or other visual aids to communicate information. Visual media helps students process and retain information more effectively as it appeals to the visual learning style. Examples include textbooks with illustrations, infographics, slideshows, and interactive whiteboards that display images and videos. 2. Audio media. Audio media relies on sound to convey educational content. This category includes radio broadcasts, podcasts, audiobooks, or even recorded lectures. Audio media is particularly beneficial for auditory learners, and it allows students to absorb information while multitasking or traveling. It also supports the development of listening and comprehension skills. 3. Audiovisual media. This category combines both audio and visual elements, which help create a more dynamic and engaging learning environment. Examples of audiovisual media include videos, documentaries, educational films, and online tutorials that combine spoken words with relevant visual content. This multimedia approach caters to both auditory and visual learners, enhancing understanding and retention. 4. Multimedia Multimedia refers to the integration of different media elements, such as text, images, audio, and video, into a single cohesive experience. This type of media is commonly used in interactive learning platforms, online courses, and e-learning tools. Multimedia encourages active engagement from students and provides a more holistic learning experience that can address different learning styles. For example, an educational game or a simulation that uses text, images, and sound to convey information would be classified as multimedia. 5. Media Reality This refers to the immersive and interactive use of technology to create virtual or augmented learning environments. Tools like virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, are transforming the way students experience learning, allowing them to interact with digital objects and environments as though they were real. Media reality provides a more hands-on approach to education, especially in fields like science, history, or geography, where students can explore concepts in a fully immersive way. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, PPSD, play a critical role in guiding the professional development of teachers across the Philippines.
The standards serve as a comprehensive framework to ensure that educators are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and competencies required to meet the demands of modern-day teaching. One key aspect of the PPSD is its focus on the integration of Information and Communication Technology, ICT, into teaching and learning. As technology continues to shape the educational landscape, the PPSD recognizes the importance of preparing teachers to harness the power of ICT to enhance their instructional practices and improve student learning outcomes. Planning Lessons That Integrate ICT One of the core competencies outlined in the PPSD is the ability to plan lessons that effectively integrate ICT. Teachers are expected to move beyond traditional, teacher-centered methods and to incorporate digital tools and resources that support active learning, critical thinking, and collaboration. Integrating ICT into lesson planning allows educators to access a wide range of resources, such as interactive multimedia, educational websites, virtual simulations, and learning management systems, LMS, which can engage students in dynamic ways. The PPSD stresses the importance of aligning the use of technology with learning objectives, ensuring that ICT serves as a means to enhance, rather than replace, traditional pedagogical strategies. For example, a teacher might plan a lesson on science that incorporates a virtual field trip to a national park, allowing students to observe and interact with different ecosystems and wildlife, which would be difficult to experience in a physical classroom setting. Effective integration of ICT requires teachers to also consider the pedagogical approaches that best suit their students' needs. The PPSD encourages teachers to be flexible in using digital tools to create inclusive learning environments that can cater to diverse learners, whether they are students with disabilities, those with different learning styles, or those from different cultural backgrounds, using digital tools to support diverse learning needs. In today's diverse classrooms, teachers are increasingly faced with students who have varying abilities, backgrounds, and learning preferences. The PPSD emphasizes the need for teachers to use digital tools to support these diverse learning needs. Technology offers a wide range of tools that can help personalize learning, such as adaptive learning platforms, educational games, and assistive technologies. These tools help teachers differentiate instruction to meet the needs of all learners, whether they need additional support or greater challenges. For instance, students with learning disabilities can benefit from text-to-speech software while students who excel can explore deeper content using advanced educational apps or online resources. Moreover, ICT can enable collaborative learning, where students can work together virtually on projects, share ideas, and learn from one another, even in a remote or hybrid setting. Through online forums, collaborative documents, and video conferencing tools, teachers can create opportunities for students to engage in meaningful discussions, problem-solving activities, and peer learning. This collaborative approach fosters critical thinking, communication, and teamwork, skills that are essential in today's interconnected world. The PPSD encourages teachers to be strategic in selecting and using digital tools that are not only suitable for their teaching context, but also relevant to the subject matter. It calls for teachers to stay updated on emerging technologies and to integrate tools that are both educationally effective and aligned with curriculum standards. Reflecting on and improving ICT use in teaching practices, the PPSD recognizes that effective teaching is a continuous process of reflection and growth, and this applies to the integration of ICT in the classroom. Teachers are encouraged to engage in regular reflection on their use of technology, analyzing what worked well and identifying areas for improvement. This reflective practice helps teachers make informed decisions about which ICT tools and strategies to continue using and which ones to modify or abandon. For example, a teacher who used an online quiz platform might reflect on the level of engagement it generated, assess the accuracy of the data, and explore ways to improve its effectiveness in helping students grasp key concepts. 